So why don't you just chug it up? I bought that from a bakery just two days ago, especially. It's probably in the hot sun somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> it's very furry. Is it? Is it? Well, I mean, it's fine in there, but what I'll have to do is I'll have to... I'll have to... Oh. That's fine. I think, I think when something's mouldy, you're meant to just cut, like, half an inch. Wait, you're taking all that off. I have time. to. Is that, have you seen how fluffy it is? Mm. It's really fluffy. Sure, there's a flower. Is that, um, that is. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the bottom too. So at least I can get a block out of it. Now, how do I slice it that way or that way? You won't be able to fit in the toaster with mine. That way. Get one, get one. Well, then I'm going to get tiny ones, aren't I? Two bits. Yeah. No. Oh. Yum. Bread. Moldy bread. We're Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40 foot Colvick Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. <laughs> it's the morning and it's raining and it's July and what am I even trying to say? What am I saying, Zach? Um, what we're doing today. That. We've just woken up and <laughs> <laughs> we decided to take you guys on a kind of day in the life on board Tailey. It's a rainy July morning and we've got so many jobs to do. Excitingly, we've got three and a half weeks to do the jobs. What are we going to do today? Service the engine and put the new extended chain back in the locker. We've got some friends coming this evening. So we also need to just clean the boat because the boat is a state. I think it's all too often that you see this idyllic, clean, perfect living environment and it's just not the case. Things are everywhere when you're working on the boat and doing jobs. That just happens, you know, when you're busy, just life, life happens. So we're gonna just keep it super real today. You saw this morning, my bread was moldy. Nothing is picture perfect on this boat at the moment, but that's fine. We're just embracing it and we're just going with the flow. How's it looking? Yes, it's fine. A while back when Paul was visiting, we counted our chain and figured out we had 55 metres. We knew we wanted around 100 metres of chain, so when a local auction for 50 metres of new galvanised chain came up, we couldn't resist but take a chance and bid for it. And well, hey, we actually won. It was a heavy car ride home to say the least. We spent last night spraying 10 metre intervals onto it and it was ready to go back into the locker again. So you used to normally make mostly motorboats. I think they've only got like five or six models of sailboats. No, someone said it felt like a Russian war memorial. <laughs> yeah, well, it worked. My chain for oh, I'm wearing white for this. That's the anchor chain all put away and the anchor back on, which is a really nice feeling. The boat is slightly dipping down, which isn't great, but we're going to look into, at some point, building a V down the bilge for the chain to go. A chute, there we go. But for now it's going to have to do. We do need that amount of chain. So we're just heading to the supermarket to pick up some breakfast bits for tomorrow. 
for us and Sophie and Yaz who are coming this evening. I knew Sophie since I was at school so it's really nice for her to be coming and meeting her boyfriend. She'll be lovely. We've just taken some photos of Zach's car because selling it, ah, Zach's got a week left of driving it. After eight years of it. Eight years? I had it eight years. I just passed. Aww. You feel emotional? I think I would a little bit. Yeah. He does some pretty fun things in this car. Oh. And I've, I've taken it everywhere before I even knew you. Yeah. And we drove it in France. I got a speeding ticket in it, my first ever one. Yeah. <laughs> in France. Good times. Anyone who owns a boat will appreciate when boat jobs happen, this also happens. We've got a fan we need to mount, we've got our VHF box, some random wood, a spare water tank, some carpet, some spray paint, our nav text, two new batteries we need to wire in, deck caulking stuff, we've got some, oh, Duralac, a socket set, engine servicing stuff, it just, this just happens, you know? <laughs> time to service the engine but before we got all grubby it was time to sit down and film our Taily tell us for our patreons we let them know what happened this week and even told them where our first sailing destination is everything is becoming more real by the day it's not too late to see this vid head over to our patreon if you want to check it out this is about two in the afternoon right now becca is currently editing she's going to help me with a few of these bits in between bits that she's doing i'm going to start servicing the engine so i've got the impeller here. I'm going to take out the old one and just see if it needs to be replaced. I'm going to check the anode in the engine as well, change the oil, check the oil filters and load other bits. These servicing parts were sent to us by Great Goose Boat Services. So we just received this massive box which is 12 kilograms worth and we're so excited to open it up. You sure? Run, yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Stunning. Yay. That's crazy. That's wow, they're so kind. Oh my gosh. We've got the oil for our engine. We've got an impeller. We've got a belt. We've got 10 litres of engine oil. And we've got fuel filter and an oil filter. So this is all from Stuart at Great Ouse Boat Services. He contacted us and said he wanted to send us the service parts for our engine. And we can't even begin to explain how grateful for him we are and the whole company. We've left a link in our description box for his company and go check it out because he's a yeah. top notch guy. And Thank you so much for sending all these parts and sourcing everything for us. Cause yeah, we need to, the engine's only done 400 hours, but we want to make sure it's all in tip top shape before we do anything big. Some nuts off it. Well, I think it definitely needs a new gasket. Let's go on. That's the old gasket. That. So that's the impeller in there. I'm gonna check if there's any cracks or anything like that on it and just make sure it's all good. If it is good, I'll put that one back in and I'll replace the gasket around it because there isn't really any gasket anymore there. Oh, this one needs replacing. So it's pretty good apart from that. Yeah, so the blades need to be going clockwise. So that's the old gasket on it and this is why we need to do this kind of stuff, so. We make sure that it's not leaking or anything like that. So that could have been part of the reason why we've got a bit of salt water in the bilge, because it might be dripping from here. I'm just going to take some light sandpaper to this just to get rid of all this gunk on it. That's our new gasket. And this is our brand new Impella. Let's go and fit it all back together. OK, 
Okay, and pattern changed. Next thing on the list is fitting or seeing if the old anti-corrosion pin is in good nick or not. We've got one of these in here is because we get salt water going through the engine and when there's electric currents in salt water, they tend to attack metals. And the zinc's in there, so the electric charge will go for the zinc because it's the more reactive metal than the steel that the engine is made of. I think it's made of steel. So I'm just gonna go and see if the one of these in the engine is really badly corroded or if it's there at all. From looking at the photos, I think the bit that I'm looking for is that pin there that I need to undo. Whoa, that is very much eaten. <laughs> Becca, look at this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's, boring. That's probably never been changed then, has it? No. Thank you. I'm just going to pour a bit of water on the engine bracket there. What are you doing, Becca? I'm washing our mizzen lines. They were really, really salty and green. We've just been letting them soak and then going in, doing this, rub it and then letting them soak. But we've done three washes now and the water is still green. So <laughs> I think we need to keep going for a little bit. What are you doing now? I'm just seeing if the alternator belt needs a bit more tension in it. I think it probably does. It says it shouldn't be any more than 11, or it should be about 11 millimeters. How did you learn all this stuff? I did a diesel engine course, what, two weeks ago now? Yeah. Or so, which was very, very helpful and kind of gave you a bit more confidence to do things like this. How was it? It was really good. Did you learn a lot about diesel engines? <laughs> it's about diesel engines. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Nice. Really enjoyed it. There was um, a guy there who knew us. Really? Pretty funny. Really interesting bunch of people as well who were doing it. There was two doctors. Yeah. Um, a girl guy. They both worked for the British Antarctic Survey and been down in uh, South Georgia and lived out That's there. That's where you want to go? I know, lived out there for like a year and I was like, oh my God, I really want to go there at some point. They were like, yeah, it's amazing. I was having loads of chats with them about that over lunch and about our plans Aww. and everything like that, but really interesting people. Learned a lot? Yeah, learned a lot. I'm going to yeah. take the alternator belt off because there's some black on the alternator where it's been rubbing or just fraying around the edges. We're just going to replace it. <laughs> it doesn't want to go, does it? Oh, there you go. I think it's going a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. That went nice. Yeah. So that's the new belt on. So we've done a lot of the bits that we need to do with this. There's a few more that I'm going to do in a minute. We are not going to do the valve clearance today because we haven't got feeler gauges yet. We will be doing that at some point soon though. And I'm just waiting to hear back from the previous owner about when he last changed the oil, but I might just change it anyway. Oh, it's dented. Yeah, I saw that. It's really dented, isn't it? Someone's bumped into that or something. It's like a little jacket for it, isn't it? Yeah. It's really important that it never gets blocked. He was saying how much air gets sucked through there. It's ridiculous. Is that the old one? Yeah. It's... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, let's just throw it. I've edited a bit. Zach has serviced the engine. Actually, we've still got a few more things on the engine to do. We've got to change the oil on both gearbox and engine. And we also need to change the oil filters and fuel filters but we're not going to do that until we've done the engine oil. Next, we've got a few little jobs to do around the boat and then we're going to clean the boat. But I'm feeling feeling tired. Just had a coffee, but I'm feeling... Actually, it's five o'clock. Honestly, when you're doing boat work, the time just disappears. I swear it was like one o'clock a second ago, Zach. Crazy. All right, let's get to doing the jobs. I'm making a little bookshelf. I'm more just a book holder. Mm. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that's nice, floating. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I reckon we're not going to get better than that, are we? Right, <laughs> oh, is a lot of chain? That's the end we're going to attach to the... Mm, yeah, the other end is like a circle. Looped. Yeah, we need to decide whether we want all 30 metres. A little bung, bung holy. Done. 
we're just walking to go see Sophie and Yaz. I'm wearing double denim. And we're gonna get rid of this bit of oak. We've <laughs> kept hold of it because it's expensive and nice. But realistically, we just don't need to be lugging. We're gonna finally get rid of it part ways. But well, it's going into the refuse area, so hopefully someone else can make good of it. Hello! <laughs> you made it! Can you say hi? <laughs> you were featured ages ago in that climbing video. You're an OG. Oh, yeah. When I dislocated my knee and we went, oh my God, if I find it, did. I'll insert it here. George, what is your tail doing, George? Hi. Hey. Oh, look, hear that sound? They're fish. Oh my God, look how big they are. Yeah, they suck all the algae off. Hello. George, who's cat? You play some friends. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, look, you can play and have tummy tickles. Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. You got this, all right? Okay. Right? Here we go. We're here now. Plymouth! Yep. Uh, in America, uh, they like to party. It's Texas. South. No. California. No. Uh, uh, Florida. When you're looking at the forest of food, you are foraging. When you're trying to um, turn something on or um, test it, you are some. Oh. <laughs> When you've got a coupon and you want to use it, you've got to something. Redeem it. Test it. Scan it. Use it. To <laughs> cut turn it. it on. When you get. Um, turn it on. When you get. You turn when it you, when out. You, oh. Time's out, peeps. What was that? Activating. Oh, oh yeah, okay. That's really hard. <laughs> Start the summer holidays or something. <laughs> I don't think they Move the genre off. <laughs> 